There's been rumors of some of the scouts have spotted the uh, little white ones, the uh, sprites. sprites. They were getting weak around these weird shrines. We can use this. Our alchemists have found a way of being able to harness and tap the energy of these spirits so that we can use their own powers against them. I like the sound of that. But what of the Nightwalker? The Lord of the Forest Spirits doesn't even worry me. I believe that Iron Town has the power to even defeat the Nightwalker. If we take him out, the entire forest will ours be ours for the taking. And Iron Town will once again be the mightiest settlement in this empire. I hope you're right. Citizens of Iron Town, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's stop hiding behind our wall. Let's take the fight to the forest. I say we go after these strikes and we hold our land. What say you? What say you? To arms against the forest. Hey! Against the forest. Take back our town. So, in order to capture the Nightwalker, it's far too powerful to go in straight away. We need to start off with the most basic of spirits. The sprites. You will see on your tag that you have, you already have the power to capture sprites. Instead, it requires two campers to tag a sprite. Bring, 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 get him, get him. Once you've tagged them, they'll be neutralized. They'll be bonded to you. You do not need to grab them by the arm and rip their little sprightly sockets out, okay? <laughs> Don't destroy our spirits. They are fragile. They will follow you to a spirit circle. There are several circles like these throughout the forest in Pine. Once they are there, they will give you a spirit token. Sprites dressed in white will give you a white token. Each person involved in the capture We'll get one. Once they've been captured and you receive your token, they will be weakened. They will roam around all tired until they regain their strength and once more into play. You cannot tag another spirit. You cannot tag a spirit while it is down and tired. You must wait until it comes back into play. Crowding around them will only make them weaker. You'll see on the back of your sprite charm. It says, your next upgrade to Dryads costs one white token. You'll get your white token from capturing your first sprite. Once you have your white token, you can go to the store, which is located in the town of Irontown, which is in the dining area. <laughs> Those areas around the dining area that have wood chips on them are safe. The spirits will not come and attack you there. You go to the store, you trade in your token, for your next charm. You get your charm, you can add it to your lanyard, you now have the ability to hunt dryads. Dryads dressed in green are running around very quickly, much like, much like the sprites. However, instead of two people, it takes four to capture and neutralize them. Now there are many other spirits out there as well. Some friendly, some hostile. Among the most hostile that you'll have to watch out for are the wardens. Now these guys can run and also claim lives. Your lives around your belt are what allow you to stay in play. If all of your lives get stolen by wardens or other hostile spirits, you'll have to stop. You'll have to stop play until you go purchase more lives from the store, which is located in the dining area. You earn money to get lives by harvesting iron, which is located in Manzanita. Even in the mines, you are not safe from the wardens. They will find you there. However, we do have one defense against them. Our alchemists have managed to design a mark of snoozing. If you purchase one of these from the store, if a warden tries to attack you within two yards, sleep, you can neutralize the warden for 10 seconds and 10 seconds only. After that time, they'll come back to life and they'll keep hunting you. They are relentless killing machines. Watch out for them. You can use these 
as many times as you want. However, you'll find out how to capture how to capture wardens later on. It's written on your little charm. When you capture a warden, you have to trade in your mark of snoozing and you'll be defenseless until you can get another one. Now there are other hostile spirits out there, like the mighty golems. These guys don't run, but they pack a furious punch. If one of them tags you, you lose all your lives straight away. There's no second chances with them, and there's no way to neutralize them. There might be a way to capture them, but you're gonna have to work your way through the charms, slowly upgrading until you find out how. Other spirits you'll encounter include the ancients. Now these are very wise, very, very old creatures. We've yet to uncover exactly how to stop them, but there has to be a way, and hopefully you guys will discover it. Once we've captured enough of these base spirits, we'll be able to begin, begin a final assault on the Nightwalker. We're going to need almost every one of you fully upgraded with all charms if you want to stand a chance against a spirit that strong. Now there are a few other things that you can purchase from the store that can aid you in this. We have more shrines that can be set up. If you purchase them, you can set up a shrine wherever you wish. So, your safe areas will be in the dining area in the town of Irontown. Everywhere else, you can be hunted. The spirits tend to mass in the forest around pine. That's where you'll find them. Watch out for the wardens. Watch out for the golems. And may the lords watch over us. Yeah. To arms! Yeah. Yeah.